Hello there. Today I just wanted to take a quick look at a new Chrome extension that just launched in the Chrome store today, called Google Tone. Over the past couple months, Google has been working on a lot of proximity-based features in Android and Chrome. Prior to this, most have been focused on security-based features. Now it seems that Google is finally ready to take the wraps off of one of their projects that is not really to deal with security, but in, in fact it deals with sharing. Specifically, sharing a URL in Chrome that you're looking at with others who are nearby, or within an earshot, as Google puts it. This reminds me a lot of the Chromecast feature, which allows someone who is not connected to your Wi-Fi network to cast something to your Chromecast with ultrasonic sound as the authenticator. The difference here is that Google isn't using ultrasonic tones, which are inaudible to the human ear, but actual tones that can be heard. Presumably, this is to allow a greater range of compatibility with computers due to some computer microphones filtering out certain noises. Setup is actually very simple. I put a link to the extension in the description below. Once the extension is downloaded, it downloads on all of your Chrome-based devices. Then, you just have to get others to download the extension to their devices as well. Once that's completed, a little blue megaphone-like icon will appear in the top right. By navigating to any URL in the web browser that you choose, then pressing this button, it will automatically send the information to the other devices. A small window pops up in the bottom right-hand corner asking if it is okay to navigate to that specific page. By clicking that URL, you are instantly taken to the same page that the other person was looking at. It seems to work really well, although I've had a little bit of trouble on my ASUS PC, and I'm not really sure where the holdup is, whether it's in the microphone or something else in the settings. I'll play around with that a little bit more to see if I can get it working, though. All in all, it's a pretty interesting idea, and I'm really anxious to see where Google takes all of this. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Google Tone, and as always, thanks for watching.